Now, when we have cloned the project from GitHub and we have it running locally, as we can see here in some folder, we are ready to start developing. Now, what I want to show in this video is how we make our first commit. And that shows something very interesting and important about Git. So let's get started. Let's go have our project here, which I've opened, and just make some changes to a file. Just write test here and store it. Now, what happens is that uh, source tree actually knows there's been a change. So if I go into commit, it can say, all right, there's a working copy change. And I can commit this one. And I say, my initial commit test. And I can write commit. Now, something very interesting happens is this is not pushed to the remote yet, which means that if anyone else goes to the project on GitHub, nothing has changed. However, this happens locally, which means that you're actually working on your own repository locally, which means that you can continue working here. We can make a new change, writing test two. We can save that one, and then we can make yet another commit. And write a commit message. And that's great. And we can commit it. That means that you can work with this offline. This only happens on your computer. Now, when you've done that for some time, and you have working on like 10 commits, whatever you want to do to get the stuff working, you're ready to get it onto the remote. You want it to push it to the world. And then you click push, and you say, I want to push this develop branch. And I click OK. And what happens now is this gets pushed to the remote, which means that anyone else working on the project will get a notice that say, oh, we can download something, and they can click pull. So that is really how it works. It's really simple. And the big difference between SVN and JIT is there is this local repository thing where you commit to, and then later on, you can commit to the world, which is a big difference between SVN and Git.